Hi, James Lund. It's James the Wine Guy here to share and celebrate this wine with you today. This is Cupcakes Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc 2011 Vintage 13% Alcohol Content. Back panel for your review. A bit of copy by winemaker Adam Richardson, whom I've met before and talked with uh, pretty extensively about his uh, collection of wines that he is uh, pr producing and overseeing. And for me, I love Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc is one that I had, a, I would say, a longer time coming to. I, I'll be honest with you. It wasn't one of the wine varietals that I thought... I'm really seeking out Sauvignon Blanc, it would be like, yeah, okay, that's fine, I'll, I'll um, have a glass of Sauvignon Blanc if there's nothing else, versus I'm seeking it out, I want Sauvignon Blanc, I want the uh, characteristic beauty of this wine, and this is a really exceptionally nice find for me. Sauvignon Blanc is, is that uh, sense of tartness, it's a sense of uh, terroir, it's a sense of where it's coming from, it's going to pick up those characteristics. So often, uh, New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs are characterized as a sense of grassiness, and I'm not really sure what grassiness means. I don't know if it's a sense of wildness or tartness, but for me, um, I, I don't use that often in, in my descriptors of uh, Sauvignon Blanc because I'm not really sure what it's trying to characterize or understand. What's a combination lock that we're trying to uncover here? So I'm just trying to describe it as it is tasting. I think that's probably the best way of understanding wines in, in terms of at least Sauvignon Blanc and just giving uh, really much more straightforward descriptors. And for me, Sauvignon Blanc is a, a go-to wine for seafood. It's a go-to wine as a wine to be served on its own and to be enjoyed on its own. It's that something that you want that's a point of difference in terms of, I don't want a uh, heavier Chardonnay for uh, my beginning wine. I want something lighter, crisper, uh, a sense of minerality. So here we go. I'll take a taste of this wine and tell you what it's like. Characteristics on this wine are tart green apple, Asian pear, green citrus peel, almond, and white tea. I give this wine an 8.8 .8 out of my 10.0 scale. For more wine reviews, please go to jamesthewineguy.com. Please subscribe to my videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest. Salud.